up until recently here I didn't really take care of my yard tools so I'm learning how to do proper maintenance and care for uh, yard hand tools like this I never thought about sharpening a shovel I never thought about putting a protective coating of anything on a wooden handle so most of my rakes are kind of pieced back together like that my axes uh, you know I never really sharpened them too much I put them on a bench grinder once in a while but for the most part you'd have to bust a tree in half rather than chop it and, and needless to say I didn't use an axe a whole lot but most of my axes were you know laying in the back of my truck until the handles would get rotten and I would either throw them in the corner and buy another one or uh, just not use that particular tool but I've been watching a couple of YouTube channels lately Wrangler Star being one of them teaching you how to do his word is proper proper maintenance and care for tools like this so I found this old axe head in a a driveway of a place I was working on it was buried deep it was an old house built in the 30s or 40s so I'm assuming it's an American American steel it was pitted up real bad and I spent probably an hour with a a little air grinder knocking the rust off of it trying to kind of save the metal a little bit and then fitted a handle to it and that's my first time to ever replace an axe handle so it doesn't fit perfect but it is tight as all get out and it ain't going nowhere and I glued it in there pretty good with some uh, boiled linseed oil before I put the wedge in I poured boiled linseed oil in there and I had soaked the wedge in it too so I hammered it in there real good and it ain't going nowhere and put a good edge on it and this thing is tight it'll knock a tree down quick but I got this other wax I don't remember where I got it it's obviously a American made steel I didn't realize the difference in Chinese and cheaper grade steels than, than US made products so here's another old axe that I'm I grinded on it a little bit not grinded I took one of those little scotch bright pads on a air wheel and buffed it off I guess clean that one up real good I'm gonna, I just bought another handle for it I say just bought it's been riding in the back of my truck for a couple weeks now it's an American hickory made in Mexico ain't that nice so anyhow I'm learning how to do all that stuff and that's what this video is basically me doing some sharpening and some maintenance on some of these tools this handle here I got from uh, Home Depot I think before I had watched Wrangler Stars channel on how to choose a proper handle so it's not really the best it could be a better handle but it's doing fine and I spent a long time sanding all that factory shellac off that they put on those things and fitting it to this head the best I could anyway and then wiped it down with boiled linseed oil for a couple of days after, after every coat dried so this thing ought to last me quite a while as long as I keep taking care of it and don't miss a lick and bust the handle off on a tree or something so here we go with some sharpening and some some of my style of temporary protection. Find that balance thing. Oh, I haven't got that far yet. I'm working on. Straightening this thing out. I broke the belt on it the other day and was trying to figure out how to adjust it. It never will stay. There.
That's a pretty good edge right there. This is an old turkey roaster that we melt beeswax down in. I just turned it on just a little while ago so it hadn't completely melted back down. But basically what I'm going to do with my tools, uh, I hadn't seen anybody else do this, but it don't make them real pretty. But like this brush axe here, rides the tractor all year. And it's going to be out in the weather and the first time you hit a good limb it's going to knock the wax off of it. But for now, uh, we're going into winter and it's not going to be used. Next time I grab it in the springtime, it'll have a fresh, sharp blade on it with no rust. And uh, that's how I'm going to protect these tools right now. There's a big old chunk of wax in here I'm melting down. Uh, as well as a little scoop that I didn't see. <laughs> this is axe I put a handle in. I guess you could paint it or wipe it down with wax or whatever. Uh, I did wipe the metal down with boiled linseed oil at the same time I did the handle and that seemed to work real well in protecting the metal. Uh, it never did get rusty again until I used it and left it in the back of my truck. So I don't, you know, like I said, I don't really care how that looks. I can scrape those uh, pieces of trash off of there just as long as it doesn't rust again before I'm ready to use it again. I'll scrape all this trash out of here. Do that again. And I'll just dip it real quick, and that'll keep me a fresh blade for the next time I want to use it and it won't rust and then I'll wipe the rest of it down again with boiled linseed oil that seemed to work fine on the metal as well as the wood. I clean this old nasty machete up too. There you go, there's a beeswax dip. may not be the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but next time I go to grab them, they won't have rusty edges. They'll be sharp and ready to go. Here's a good contrast and comparison to show you how I take care of all my other tools. Here's my multimeter that I use quite often. I bought it in 2005 from Sears, and every time I get done with it, it goes right back in the original packaging with the owner's manual and the receipt from where I bought it. And that's how I take care of my electronic stuff and my a lot of my power tools are that way. A lot of my hand tools are that way. It's just my yard tools that I'm having to learn how to take care of.